Hello comic book community, I am Bryant with I Have Comic Issues. Welcome to my first video. This is a haul video from a couple weekends ago. This is all that I got in one weekend. Alright, so let me start um, showing you what I got. Uh, went to one store and picked up two co copies of Ultimates 30. Yeah, put it over here so the glare is not so bad. Uh, I think it's the last issue of the Ultimates run. Um, and I believe uh, Tony Stark it makes his own uh, Infinity Gauntlet uh, for the stones in that universe. So that's pretty cool. I also picked up a copy of uh, Spawn number nine, first appearance of Angelic Angelina, uh, Thor's sister. So that one's pretty cool. It does need a little bit of a cleaning right here. There is a little, uh, yeah, you can see it right there, a little mark. So I'll get that taken care of. Got a good uh, cleaner and presser uh, that I found. Uh, made contact through on Instagram, and um, I'll share his uh, information here in the very near future. Also got a copy of Civil War number Civil War Two issue number five that completes my Civil War Two uh, um, collection or run. I, this was the only one that was missing, so I got it now. So I'm happy about that. Picked up another book here. Uh, it's a uh, Venom book issue number thirty five uh, or two hundred. Uh, I think it's the end of the uh, Donny Cates and uh, uh, run of uh, Venom. So that one looks pretty cool. Looks like a pretty good grade. So Also got uh, Venom issue number 33. So I like the way that cover looks. It has no on there. Um, so I got all those in at one store. Uh, in my local uh, comic book shop. Had to do a little bit more uh, driving and I got these next couple ones from a, a local guy who has a uh, booth at one of our local flea markets in the area. Uh, this is a copy of uh, Young Avengers uh, number two. Uh, so pretty happy with this one. Very uh, minty looking. So. And then my favorite uh, series, just because I'm a kid from the 80s and 90s, is the X-Men. So I picked up a copy of uh, X-Men 132 from the same collector. Uh, first uh, full appearance of the Hellfire Club. Real happy about that one. And then I also got, take off the note there, uh, issue... Uh, uh, Uncanny X-Men issue 125. Uh, it's the first appearance of Mutant X. Uh, I got this at the, from the same collector. Uh, so then that's Dave's Comics and Collectibles. So and then from D Dave also I got a copy of Venom 31. Really cool uh, cover. Got uh, Noah on there and Eddie Brock. So I really like that. And then I also got from Dave a um, copy of King in Black, number one. Uh, I believe it's the uh, A cover. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but that one's pretty cool. I like that. From another store, just a little bit down the road from Dave's place, I uh, got a couple other ones. I got Silver Surfer Black, number one. It is the, uh, I think, first cover appearance of No. Uh, this is a variant copy, and it's got a, it's a second print of Silver Surfer Black number one, but it is a variant uh, copy. So I think that one's pretty cool. Uh, from the same store, I got a She Hawk number one, the uh, Rob Liefeld variant copy. So. I think that one's pretty cool. I like Deadpool. He's pretty awesome. You know, he probably doesn't have anything to do with the story, but he's pretty cool to have on the cover. 
and this is another one that I got to uh, finish out a little run. I was uh, missing Infinity Gauntlet number five to uh, finish my uh, series there, so I was able to find that at the same store, so that's pretty cool. Happy to have all of those. I have the entire run of the Infinity Gauntlet, which a lot of people probably have. These are some books here that I got at a flea market about an hour from where I live. Don't know really much about it. It was just a really good deal. And I know that it needs a good cleaning and pressing and probably make it look really, really good. Uh, but it was a copy of Brave, The Brave and the Bold, issue number 72, I think from like the 1960s. Pretty cool. Got this one and Justice League number 50, Justice League of America number 50. And I got these from a guy, $12 for the pair. So... Pretty happy about that. They both need a cleaning and a pressing. And then we'll see if I want to send them in or if there's any reason to send them in to a CGC or something like that. Next couple, these are, I don't know very much about these at all, but just decided to try them out. See, the, the cover art looks pretty cool. But I got, uh, from the same guy that I got those two Golden Age books, I got, uh, Dark Knight's Metal, one, two, four, and issue five. I got all four of these for 20 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, they got cover, I mean, they got stickers on them that say $12, $15, six, and six dollars. So by what they originally had on them, I got a good deal on that. And then at the same flea market from a different dealer, I got some more, some bigger books, I think. I got a copy of Wolverine number 10. Uh, I really like this series. It was one of my first that I collected when I was a kid. I actually bought Wolverine number one from the series off the rack for a dollar. I wish I still had that one. I was traded it or sold it off, but I'm starting to get those back now. Uh, but I picked up this one. I picked up uh, this one. I know the hype has passed a little bit since the show is over, but I did want to have this. And uh, thinking about gifting this to someone that got me started in the comic books. Uh, their favorite character is Moon Knight. So I got a copy of Moon Knight number one. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I really like that. I do send it. I hope they like it also. And the last one that I got is my very first uh, slabbed uh, book that I got, or I, I own. I'm just uh, starting to get into the slabbing process, uh, but it's a copy of X-Men number 56. It is signed right here by uh, uh, Neil Adams. It is a um, Signature series restored. There's a little color touch up right in that area there. But that's it. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I mean, uh, Neil Adams just passed away a couple weeks ago. So his stuff can be treasured more and more from now on. Um, but this was a really fun day of collecting comics that weekend. So uh, I'll have some more videos coming up in the future. Hope you like this haul. If you got any comments, questions, or thoughts, stuff you think I might need to try to look at collecting in the future, let me know. Uh, I am gonna be setting up an eBay uh, store to sell some of these books to kind of fund my um, comic uh, issues habit that I got going forward. Uh, so just keep that in mind and uh, I'm going to be setting up the Instagram and all that to go with it. So uh, thank you very much and please like and subscribe. Thank you.